you took up being such a pansy all the time, I'm gonna teach you how to live in the woods. The name's Jimothy. All right, so first things first, there's lots of edible plants around here. Look at this. Edible. Pine cones, very edible. But you won't really be able to survive off stuff like this. There's a couple of plants that you need to know about in order to actually get all the vitamins and minerals that you need, as well as there's a couple little animals that you can get. But first things first, this is bearberry. And then there's also the skittleberry. And if you're patient, you can get quite a bountiful harvest in a very short amount of time. And this has all the proteins and vitamins that you need to survive in this grueling environment. Come here, follow me. Now, it might take a little bit of time, but with this practice, you can develop a keen enough eye to be able to find food in pretty much any location. Like, oh, look over here. Oh, right here. Right, the little land sharks. Little thing? Unreal. I know it took me about two minutes, but I've already eaten the, almost the whole population of these land sharks. And I've got enough protein to last me for like maybe two full weeks out in the woods. Unreal. But I think I hear something. Oh, I think it's a bear. saw happen with Jimothy was wrong. I'm Ethan. And come with me to learn more about bear and moose safety. If you ever encounter a bear up here, there are some things you should and should not do. Up here we only have black bear, so this video will be specifically for black bear only. And even though the bear you just ran into doesn't look black up here, it's still a black bear. Jimothy did two things wrong. He screamed and he ran like a little baby. Okay? If you ever encounter a bear, you don't want to run. Because you look like a big chicken wing running. It's a good little meal. Second thing, you don't want to scream because you sound like a dying animal. Let's be honest. And uh, third thing, you don't want to play dead because the, the bear will take every chance to get a meal. You can never outrun, outswim, or outclimb a bear, so don't even try it. If you see a bear in the distance, you want to make yourself known. Way to do that is you want to make yourself look big. I want you to sing in a low, loud voice. Like Jimothy now knows how to do. Hey, boo boo! Get the heck out of here, eh? You ain't gonna find no picnic baskets, only trouble around here. Unless there's a baby cub with the mother. Then you may threaten the mother and that's when you can get attacked. If you're ever in this close encountered situation, you wanna just slowly back away, keeping your hands above your head, making yourself look as big as possible, still talking in a low voice, and uh, never turn your back, or the mother will take that opportunity. And never, 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 look the bear in the eyes. Now a bear may try to intimidate you, I may even charge you. Signs of these look like head low, stomping, hitting ground, ears back, blowing noises, snapping of jaw, and standing on his back legs. In this case, you want to make yourself look big and loud and slowly walk backwards, walk away. 
A bear will always try to show dominance without attacking you. And usually, a bear will give you the opportunity to walk away. So take it. If the bear does not leave after all your tries and attempts, you must stand your ground and assert dominance to try to scare off the bear. If you're following the basic bear safety rules, this should not happen at all. Bears don't want to be around you just as much as we don't want to be around them. Simple as that. Hey, as you guys know, I had a run in with a bear a couple days ago. Give me a real run for it, it's my money. But I'm better educated now and better able to take on the wild. So if I do run into a bear or any other kind of wild creature, it better watch out for me, not the other way around. See these trees right here? Called prickles. And you just can just eat, eat the little needles. Very awesome. Really good. Full of vitamin C. Oh wait. I hear a noise. I hope it's a bear. Oh! Whatever. I know how to handle it. Hey, you big idiot! Get away from me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. ah! It's happening again! Well, Jimothy doesn't know it's moose safety. Moose are mean. They're not going to skip, skip with you, play jump rope with you, or play cards with you. This is moose safety. Do's and don'ts. These are the do's. You want to throw all your things on the ground between you and your moose to kind of distract it. You want to run into thick trees so the moose can't get through because of their antlers. The don'ts. Do not hide behind a bush. Moose have long legs. They can just trample right over them. Do not climb a tree because a moose is stubborn. They'll wait for you to come down or fall down and they'll get you. And like, don't run. Don't swim. Because a moose is way better than you at those. Hey, Jimothy. Now, do you know how to be safe with bears and moose? I should do, Ethan. Thank you. Good. Now go out there and explore. This has been Bear and Moose Safety with Ethan. See you next time. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Don't let the bears and moose bite you.